Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Sage. The history involving Jin Cherokee's entailed beast started after Hagoromo and his brother defeated the Ten Tails, sealing it inside himself. The Ten Tails was a mindless demon with the only purpose of collecting the world's natural energy. Hagoromo knew that it couldn't be released back into the world, so he created his own tailed beast and divided its chakra among them. Unfortunately, tailed beasts and ninja were a threat to each other after Hagoromo's death. When the First Great Shinobi War began, Hashirama captured all the tailed beasts to negotiate their power for peace. After the tailed beasts were distributed to other great nations, more successful attempts were made to create Jinchurikis. This resulted in the first Jinchurikis with tailed beast control like Killer B. Naruto met Son Goku in the Fourth Great Shinobi War, and in an effort to defeat Madara, he became Jinchuriki of all the tailed beasts. And that's the history of where we are today. Jinchurikis are able to use the chakra natures that their tailed beasts possess. The most notable are the combined nature transformations, or Keke Genkai. Shukaku and its Jinchurikis possess magnet release, but Gara was already born with the magnet release affinity that he inherited from his father, the fourth Kazekage. Gara's stability as a Jinchuriki was unpredictable, and his father Rasa considered him to be a risk to the sand village. At six years old, Rasa ordered an Anbu Jonin to eliminate him. Not only did he survive it, but for the next six years, he survived waves of shinobi teams tasked with the same mission. This is how strong Jinchurikis can be even without control over their tailed beast. Part of this is due to the fact that most Jinchurikis without tailed beast control can still draw chakra through their seal like Naruto, giving them a fraction of the power of a tailed beast. The chakra modes vary in appearance. For Naruto, the spectrum starts with just a cloak and subtle changes, like whiskers and teeth, followed by the tails in the cloak being added. By the time Naruto is in four tails chakra mode, Naruto's consciousness becomes drowned by the properties of Kurama's chakra. This method of powering up requires that a Jinchuriki only take a small amount of chakra, or else the ceiling can release. Which is why Naruto almost let Kurama loose in his fight against pain, but Minato reverted Naruto back to his base form. The transformation is different for a Jinchuriki with tailed beast control. Perfect Jinchurikis can seamlessly enter partial and complete transformations, as well as use their beast chakra. Jinchurikis at this level are resistant to almost all Genjutsu. If a Genjutsu were to try to influence a Jinchuriki's chakra pathway system, chakra from their tailed beast would disrupt the Jutsu. There are a lot of abilities that specific Jinchurikis have. In Naruto's case, he almost immediately became a better sensory type, being able to sense Kisame's hate inside Samihata and feel the gold and silver brother's chakra from inside the land of lightning's chakra isolation chamber. His chakra transformations with Kurama is unique compared to other Jinchurikis. When he developed tailed beast control, Kurama didn't have his complete cooperation, forcing Naruto to only be able to use nine tails chakra mode or KCM1. Then during the war, Kurama's feelings about Naruto changed, unlocking KCM2. And since Naruto was already a Toad's age, being in QB chakra mode allows him and Kurama to absorb natural energy at an even faster rate. His appearance in KCM2 changes, thickening the black streaks in his cloak. Tailed beasts required Jinchurikis to have a specific chakra type. The Land of Lightning had multiple failed Jinchuriki attempts, with each one leading Yuki to go on a rampage, killing people each time. This was because its former Jinchurikis, like Blue Bee, had a slight incompatibility with the Eight Tails. The lands overseeing Jinchuriki experiments chose young candidates to be selected to ensure their Jinchuriki's chakra would stabilize. These problems in the Leaf Village were mitigated by using Kashina Uzumaki to hold Kurama, since she has a rare chakra type inherited from her clan ancestry. Minato took a lot of precautions when making Naruto seal. Parts of the Fu and Jutsu don't connect with each other, letting Kurama's chakra escape. This allows Naruto to use nine-tailed powers within a limit. The amount of chakra that the seal lets through can be adjusted with a key that Minato made and entrusted to Jiraiya. The last of Minato's clever ideas was to seal his own chakra inside Naruto. In order to have any level of tailed beast control, Naruto would need to fight Kurama and reseal it with a different type of seal, the Tori seal, which is what gives Naruto his first stable tailed beast form, KCM1. I feel like here I should say something about tailed beasts, since that's half of what a Jinchiriki is. Each of Sage's nine beasts were created from the inspiration of existing animals with a unique number of tails. The one-tailed Shukaku has the appearance of a canine made of sand. Shukaku was the only tailed beast that wasn't captured by Hashirama since it was already sealed in a monk living in the hidden sand village. The two-tailed Matatabi has the appearance of a cat. It was captured by Hashirama and traded to the Land of Lightning. It had one Jinchiriki, Yagito Ni. The three tails has the appearance of a turtle. Isabu was the tailed beast Madara sealed inside Rin. The four tails has the appearance of a primate. Son Goku had one Jinchuriki, Roshi. He was shown a capable Jinchuriki who possesses the handsome monkey king's lava release transformation. The five tails Kokubo has the appearance of a horse. It had one Jinchuriki, Han, who possessed the tailed beast steam release transformation. The six tails Saiken has the appearance of a slug. It had one Jinchuriki, Utakata. The seven tails Chomi has the appearance of a beetle. Chomi had one Jinchuriki, Fu. The eight tails has the upper body of an ox with the lower body of an octopus. Its Jinchuriki B was the first to show Naruto that tailed beasts can be controlled. 
As a kid, Killer B, like most in Cherokees, was feared by his village just for having the eight tails sealed. The nine-tailed fox was restrained by Madara to battle Hashirama in what would be the Valley of the End. After Madara lost, Hashirama sealed Kurama inside his wife, Mito Uzumaki, which would get passed down to Kashina and then Naruto. Kurama believes that a tailed beast's power goes up with each tail the tailed beast has, making Shukaku the weakest and Kurama the strongest. The ten tails, as one would guess, is the hardest to seal, since its strength is greater than the sum of all nine-tailed beasts. The only seal that will work on the ten tails is the ten tails coffin seal, and it requires the Renegon. Also, the Coffin Seal will only keep the Ten Tails sealed if the user has more willpower than it does, as shown through Obito. Other than the willpower and Renegon requirements, it's a pretty easy process. Only the hand signs are needed in order for the technique to be performed. Jubi Mode comes with a ton of benefits. When Madara became the Ten Tails Jinchuriki, he gained regenerative abilities far superior to anything we've seen before. Madara was able to survive a Night Guy from the Eight Gates Guy, and Ninjutsu couldn't be used on him. On top of that, his base stats were untouchable. He was so fast that he was able to catch Minato while he was using flying thunder god technique.